So in order to create uh, our custom error handlers, we can uh, create a middleware such that it can uh, uh, it can handle our custom error messages and then uh, process them whenever we uh, uh, think that there could be a potential error. All right. So middlewares are nothing but uh, something that takes place between the request and the response cycle. So uh, it will just uh, check for a particular condition. So if that fails, then it will uh, it will block the request and the response cycle. All right. So that's basically uh, something called middlewares, which we will be implementing right now. Okay. I'll just uh, explain you what exactly it is. So let's create a, a folder over here called middleware. Okay. And uh, let's uh, create another file inside that called as error middleware. dot js right so let's uh, create uh, a function okay const uh, error handler and uh, set this to a uh, function which takes in this time three parameters all right so one is the request response and then the next all right so whenever uh, our particular condition passes okay so it will just call this next okay this is for three parameters so if we want uh, the error itself okay we need to pass this as a first parameter all right so err okay like that and uh, so if it has four parameters it has to be in the correct sequence all right so make make sure you do that and uh, let's open up our function and uh, i'm just going to check for the status code all right so if it is uh, if our status code is 200 which means that everything is all right we want to make that into an error okay because whenever we throw an error um, through a custom error so that might actually be uh, in the form of 200 okay so we need to make that 500 okay rest of the uh, code like uh, with which comes within uh, 300 or 400 we are going to leave it as it is all right so let's uh, create a variable called uh, status code and uh, set that to okay inside this response object it has a, a property called status code okay so you get from the suggestions as well so if that is equal to 200 okay i'm going to make that to 500 okay so so that uh, we uh, make this as an internal server error all right if not if it is some other uh, uh, status code we are going to uh, keep that itself all right so once that's done and uh, now we can uh, uh, we can just uh, send the response of uh, status res dot status okay and then pass in the status code all right and uh, for as far as the json we can just send res dot json and uh, here we can just send in the message okay and uh, this message will come from the uh, custom error whichever we pass in okay from this error uh, parameter all right so we can just say error dot message Okay. and then the stack okay stack we only wanted to uh, be visible whenever we are in development and not in production all right so stack will be uh, equal to uh, within our we can what we can just do is we, within our dot uh, env file okay we uh, whenever we are in development we can just set this to development and when we push this application to production we can just change it at that time all right so i'm just going to create a variable uh, or a constant here okay it's called as uh, uh, node node env all right and this set this to development which we are actually in all right so let's go back to our file here and we can just say process dot env dot uh, node underscore env okay so this is a convention that uh, any constants uh, should be actually in uppercase all right if that is equal to uh, development uh, then we want to uh, actually show in the stack err dot stack okay so if you don't uh, understand like uh, what does this parameter actually do you can just uh, console log it and just have a look okay we as a developers uh, we already learned just by looking at everything and uh, only then we got to know okay so this should be question mark okay and uh, else we uh, we don't have to show anything all right so we can just do null so that's done and finally we can go ahead and uh, export this export error handler all right so that's done 
So I'll be adding another uh, middleware that is uh, when, whenever uh, any kind of uh, API request doesn't exist. Okay, so any, anything that we haven't created and uh, we are making a request to it, so we are going to handle that as well. So I'm just going to um, make this a uh, named export. So now we can just go to a product routes and uh, just say if if products exist, okay, if products, okay, and uh, we can just uh, pass in the uh, response dot json okay we can just pass in the response else we, what we can just do is uh, we can just uh, throw new error okay we can just set the response first response that dot status okay we can just set this to uh, 404 which means uh, not found all right so this actually corresponds to this uh, okay this status code that we actually get okay that is response dot status code that we are actually setting over here all right and then we can throw okay through the keyword where uh, which uh, we can raise any ex any exceptions so throw new uh, error so we are calling the error constructor and uh, we can pass in a custom message like uh, we can just say products not found uh, we can you know create a more generic message saying that uh, resource not found uh resource not found all right so let's do the same for the specific product and uh, we can just check if product okay and then we can pass in the response Oops. all right so if that doesn't exist okay else or say you don't need else also you can just directly uh, throw this in okay so rest dot status uh, 404 again this still uh, we can just say uh, we can just say we can just leave the same or we can just say product not found all right so let's uh, go ahead and test this so actually we need to restart the server since we added a environment variable all right so let's uh, restart it So now let's uh, import this uh, error middleware inside our server.js. Okay, so let's uh, import that. Import uh, error middleware. Okay, error handler actually. Okay, that is coming from uh, dot slash middleware slash error middleware. All right. So now we can just go um, after our um, uh, routes. So we can just say app dot use okay so we are going to pass in the error handler all right so when so make sure you are uh, actually um, uh, putting it at the last before the uh, route handlers okay so that uh, uh, whenever we uh, whenever uh, if everything takes place uh, then finally it will uh, reach this okay so if there's any error then finally it will reach this all right so let's go ahead and test this okay so for now, uh, let me just uh, change in some few things. Let's say I change this to C and uh, send this, and you can just see we get our uh, custom error handler, okay? Error message that is product not found that we actually uh, uh, gave it over here, okay? Product not found, and the status is 404, okay? So which is not found, okay? So uh, I think uh, we don't need uh, an error handler for uh, getting all of the products because we already know that uh, um, this cannot uh, cause any error okay so there is no potential error that could actually happen so we can just get rid of this okay so so we can just directly uh, send in the response all right uh, okay so that's correct so yeah we are done so now let's uh, make a not found handler such that if we do not make uh, so that so that if we make a request to a wrong endpoint we do not again get the same html file so for example if i type in api slash users which we still didn't uh, create yet so if i send this it will uh, again show me the same uh, html file so we need to handle that as well so we can go to um, server uh, we can just go to the error middleware and add in another function here const uh, let's call it not found and set this equal to error uh, so I, in, actually in this we do not need to pass in the error okay so we can just directly give in the request response and next 
all right and now we can create an error here call this error equal to new error i'm going to use the error constructor which, which comes with uh, javascript and uh, we can uh, uh, we can use the template string and uh, we can pass in the uh, url that was actually requested we can say not found okay and uh, we can just uh, pass in the uh, uh, variable here of request dot original headers all right original url sorry okay so that's done let's uh, test this and first we need to go to a server.js and uh, import this so app dot use not form okay i'm going to uh, not form all right so let's uh, import that no suggestions all right so along with error handler i'm going to import not form like that okay so let's go ahead and test this so let's open up postman and uh, request the same thing uh, there's some error i guess let's have a look not found is now okay i forgot to export okay okay let's uh, test this once again okay seems like there's an uh, okay actually i forgot to pass in next okay uh, sometimes while talking and you know typing i literally forget actually didn't uh, send in the response itself so so if uh, actually if it gets stuck here right so it will keep uh, making the request okay so keep that in mind if we do not pass in the uh, next object okay next function i mean uh, so we can just uh, set this uh, res dot status which is uh, 404 not found and uh, now we can uh, pass in the next okay along with the error so if we pass uh, next with uh, this particular error okay which means that uh, it is going to the error middleware all right so if you just pass next without passing anything uh, which means that it is uh, just acting as a middleware okay so if we pass a if we give an argument then it is treated as a uh, error middleware all right so that's uh, done let's finally test it okay still the same uh, error so actually this uh, not found should uh, come above this error handler right so my bad so this is how we actually learn development just by making mistakes debugging them and so that we do not uh, cause the same problems next time when we are uh, going through the same process all right so it's good to make mistakes and uh, actually everyone does it so since my it's my first time you know making videos and recording them and publishing them so that's why i'm prone to you know making a lot of mistakes so forgive me uh, uh, if it uh, actually uh, you know actually hurts all right so that's uh, done and let's finally test it uh, seems like there's another error okay uh, actually our server wasn't uh, started yet okay now you see we get that uh, not found uh, a message along with the particular uh, endpoint that we requested all right so we have uh, finally um, handle all the possible errors that could come so that uh, this is actually the best uh, practice like whenever uh, we uh, create uh, any node.js application uh, like uh, creating any rest api we need to make sure that uh, we handle all of those errors all right so that we do not want to cause a potential uh, crash in your application when you push it for production all right so uh, so that's done so if i make uh, one more error let's say i uh, just remove this uh, parameter okay i just uh, mismatch it and uh, hit send it is again uh, going to give me this uh, cast error okay Ca cast to object id failed for value this okay so we are getting that um, error message all right so we just need we can just uh, uh, create a, a handler for that as well so we can just go to error middleware and just uh, uh, before this we can just uh, check uh, if what is the type of error okay so uh, let's have a look so let's check for the error uh, if err dot name so if the error dot name is equal to okay cast error okay just like that okay make sure you spell this right because uh, if we have this this kind of error it is going to um, have this uh, this name okay called as cast error okay so if that is equal to cast error and uh, and the kind of the error okay so we can say that error dot kind 
if it is equal to object id okay so if our object id is uh, been mismatched okay then we want to uh, uh, we want to set the message okay uh, saying that um, resource not found and uh, we can just set the status code to equals uh, 404 all right so uh, that's done and uh, let's have a look all right and uh, we need to make sure that this is lit so that we are mutating this uh, variable we are setting this uh, status code back to that and uh, also let's create a variable for a message okay and set this to error dot message and uh, instead of passing uh, error dot message here we can just uh, directly pass in the message all right just like that okay and also this uh, status code all right so that's done let's uh, go ahead and test this okay okay it seems like there's an error okay actually our server hasn't started yet okay so you see that uh, resource not found is coming all right so we have handled that as well so you got to know the basic idea of how uh, we need to handle any kind of error okay there might be some potential errors uh, when you are building some other uh, different application okay so you got the gist of how to ha actually handle errors and uh, you can uh, you know fit this into any application that you are building all right okay so now let's go ahead and uh, create a controller so that uh, we can have a folder called controller and uh, a separate file called routes where both of them get, uh, get connected inside this server.js all right so uh, let's uh, go ahead and uh, cut this okay and i'm just going to name this uh, uh, like get products okay so this is a function which we will be creating uh, inside the controllers folder okay so get products uh, products all right so let's go to our server directory and create a folder called controllers all right and inside that i'm going to create a file called uh, product controller dot js okay so here we need to bring in all the imports okay so i am just going to uh, copy all this uh, do we need express uh, i don't think we need express all right so now let's go ahead and create our function that is uh, const get products all right and now i'm going to paste in the uh, code that i have that i had actually cut okay so okay i need to copy that once again uh, where was that okay i literally messed this up okay sorry for that uh, let's copy this and uh, paste it in okay now we need to okay we have bought in the async handler and let's finally go ahead and export this so export uh, get products okay and uh, now let's go ahead and do the same uh, for uh, our um, specific product all right so let's uh, cut this okay and uh, call this uh, get product by id all right so let's uh, now go here and uh, create a function called const um, get product by id all right equals and let's paste that in and uh, let's see uh, everything is fine i guess okay okay so now let's go and export that get product by id okay and uh, let's replace this as well get products all right and uh, we need to import them as well all right so that's done and uh, async handler okay so async handler we have already imported here so we no longer need need from this right so let's get rid of that so now our uh, code is much more organized so we have a, a specific uh, file for uh, routes okay and then we have one for controllers which which are basically this uh, callback functions whenever we uh, hit this route all right so so this uh, might not make any sense uh, at the moment but once we uh, um, like make more and more uh, api uh, requests all right uh, when we create more, more and more uh, routes and uh, uh, handlers so only then you will get to know the importance of uh, uh, making your code organized all right so now actually instead of doing this i can just chain uh, methods all right so i can just call this router dot route okay so 
so i don't have to uh, make two routes so if the route is uh, like uh, slash then i can make a like a get request so i can also chain in other uh, methods as well like post uh, delete so that i don't have to uh, repeat this uh, thing over here all right so i'm going to make a get request to uh, okay so um, i've already made the request by slash and i just need to pass in the get products function like that and also the same for uh, this router dot route okay whenever we have a slash id okay uh, colon id all right like this and uh, okay i need to keep this uh, inside uh, the quotes and then get get product by id okay so that's done now let's uh, go ahead and test this okay let's see if everything is working fine yes there we go everything is working fine for the specific product and let's search for all the products and uh, yeah there we go so now our code is much more organized and we'll be adding more and more routes uh, so that um, we can just uh, you know have separate folders have to control that all right so let's uh, give a pause for our back end and uh, in the next video we'll be moving on to our front end and we'll be uh, uh, installing a popular package that is a redux toolkit for in order to make different kinds of api requests and all in also in order to uh, manage our application state globally all right so let's go ahead and do that next.